four zebrafish, two females, two males, a bunch of hornwort. In a watertight fish tank the size of two or three water bottles, China's space station's first experiment on vertebrates other than human beings looks something like this. The project on aquatic life support system in space is part of the many science studies the Shenzhou A18 mission will undertake. Yes, yes, yes. Professor Wang Gaohong, one of the scientists behind this lively experiment, says the aim is to keep the small ecosystem self-sufficient, where the homeward conducts photosynthesis with LED light and let the fish be alive and happy for a month so happy that they may lay eggs. Tychonauts would take care of the fish tank. For instance, if the fish lay eggs, they will help in collecting the eggs. They will also take water samples. We will monitor the changes in the water samples. We will also videotape the fish tank and see how the fish behave. Wang said the scientists prefer that the group stays limited to four, lest a bigger crowd crashes the system. But even if it's small size-wise, the self-circulating ecosystem could be telling the scientists something big. Zebrafish are lab rats in water, and they're quite close to us humans. They share over 80 percent of our genes. So human diseases can be studied using zebrafish as model organisms. Since water occupies such a large part of our Earth, in the long term, the study of this aquatic ecosystem would help us better understand the Earth's ecosystem. In time, the experiment could also lead to some real-life use in space. Wong said fishes are efficient sources of food, and if they can be farmed in space, they could be a good source of protein for astronauts. Wang also said the team is eyeing to scale up the experiment in the future, where fish can live a whole life cycle in space, from egg to another egg. 深夜四十天，九泉，甘肃 province。